So now that I've built out that structure and I've got my th all my elements from the previous video uh, sort of just blown up a little bit, let's say I wanted to do a lookup. For our sake, let's say I wanted to do a lookup on 2. So this is where we would actually follow the same principles that we saw inside of a traditional binary search tree. I look at my first node, I'm at my root if we will, and I say is 2 in here? Is uh, 3 equal to 2? And is 7? Or is 7 equal to 2? Well, in both those cases, it's no. So, what do we do? Well, then I have to kind of make a condition. I have to say, well, what do I do from here? I've got three elements, three nodes I could go to, so I need to determine which one to go to. So, the same question is going to get come into play. I ask, well, is 3, sorry, is 2 less than 3? This happens to be a yes, and so what that means is I'll go to my left. And, what do you know, 2 happens to be in that node, so I'm good. But what happens if, instead, I said something like a lookup 10? The same principles are going to come into play. I ask, First, is 10 equal to 3? No. Is 10 equal to 7? No. Same question. Is 10 less than 3? No. So I don't go to the left, but I don't immediately go to the right either. I have to make another check. Is 3 less than 10, which we did agree upon, and is 10 less than 7? Basically, we're saying, is 10 in between my two keys. Since this is a no, then we get to ask, is 7 less than 10? Since that's a yes, then we get to make that traversal. We see that 10's in our, our tree, and we return it. So as you can kind of guess, if I made one final lookup, let's say, for example, I did look up on that 4, same principles come into play. Is 4 equal to 3? No. Is 4 equal to 7? No. Is 4 less than 3? Nope. Mm. But is 3 less than 4, and is 4 less than 7? Since that's a yes, we go down our middle path. 